music, science, art, technology, all very distinct worlds. And through hip hop science, we've been able to see how music, science, and technology all coexist. But what about art? I'm the Hip Hop MD. This is Hip Hop Science. I'm here in beautiful Venice Beach at the Art of Technology event to see what scientific advancements are incorporating the creative field of artistry. Let's go. MD, Hip Hop Science here. I am with Ann. She is the curator of the event. She's going to be give me a fantastic tour of all the cool science and art related technology advancements that are here today. So our first stop is Myra Shot. Uh, they're a band that's based in the UK. Okay. Uh, they also do these really neat VR AR shows. It's an actually an augmented reality show. Yeah. So people like actually download like an, like an app or something like that that they can actually watch. It's amazing. We're in the room with other people with the VR headset on. They use it uses a plastic your camera so you can see the world around you, you can see the musicians playing, so you can yeah. see each other while you're in VR. That's crazy. Yeah, so, so you can see all the other people that are in there at the event, yeah, and then you can see the music notes and everything like that. Say, hey, we need a hip hop artist that's gonna do some augmented reality show. That would be dope. Augmented reality, virtual reality, both including new trends in digital technology, but very unique differences. Augmented reality enables a person to interact with the perceived environment directly in front of them versus virtual reality, which actually replaces your perceived reality. Let's check some tools out. I'm you with Jeff, he is the engineer. With behind this, he's gonna tell us a little bit more information about what we got going on over here. So this is a magical experience where you are helping a little fox to okay. save the universe mm -hmm. by moving obstacles out of the way with your hands. How long have you been involved in augmented reality? About two to three years. Okay. Yep. Now what background are you in as far as engineering? Focus on engineering. You know, I'm an engineer as well too. My experience before that is actually animation, okay. but I'm more on the technical side. So I do okay. tools for animation. All right, should we take a look at some of the stuff you got here then? Yeah. So normally in augmented reality, the experiences like this, they would actually have the hand remote to be able to interact. This one here, they decided to do away with the hand remote so it could be more like a natural experience where you're actually using your body parts to facilitate and navigate through your environment. So here we got Luna. This is Luna here. Um, this is the character that we're going to be helping through our augmented reality experience. What's the goal of what we need to do for her? Oh, she's about to, she's about to grab you. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Now you're a pro. Now I'm a pro? All right. I feel like when uh, my favorite game growing up was uh, uh, Vector Man on uh, uh, Sega Genesis. You know, you have to you have the little balls and stuff like that. I, I, I look like a crazy person. Like I did look crazy enough in this laptop. So this was actually incredibly amazing. I've been hearing a lot about augmented reality and actually how you use your space and navigate within your space. This was really next level because you can actually pick up objects, you can move around, you can see everything on your peripheral, you can see it on the side. You feel fully engaged in the environment. It was absolutely awesome. All right, let's see. Let's see how good of an artist, how good of an artist I am. This is the Microsoft HoloLens. The Microsoft HoloLens. Okay. Like our viewers take a look at this. So it looks like uh, something out of uh, like Judge Dredd. <laughs> what are the difference between the HoloLens 1 and the HoloLens 2? So HoloLens 2 is going to have like a much uh, higher fidelity resolution. The field of view is larger okay. and uh, you're able to grab with your own hands. How much do these usually run? HoloLens 1 is for sale. It runs, I want to say it's like 3 grand. 3 grand. I recommend You got some cash in your pocket? Someone who has like a little sketchbook and they want to make it the size of the world. Generally, someone who's got some art they are really fond of and they have in their own living room, you know, this enables them to This do enables them. Okay, so you can feel like you're going to do some like crazy landscape painting or something like that. It kind of puts you in that space. We often look at art and technology as mutually exclusive. This event is bridging the gap between these creative fields and showing very useful applications in everyday life. Oh, my new friend Daniel, how you doing today? Good. Awesome. I just had a, a chance to check out some of your beautiful augmented reality art. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got into this type of artwork and actually what it takes to make augmented reality artwork? First of all, the underlying theme of it is 
it's a bad emotion. I started drawing, when I was a little kid I drew, a little bit. But then I saw my stuff look totally unlike everyone else's. Started drawing on paper and all sorts of things. And then I started drawing on an iPad. And then that sort of made the transition to AR. Now, what would people find unique about your augmented reality artwork compared to maybe others that might be out there? I'd say what people tell me is like the feeling behind it. Okay, the emotion. The okay. emotion. Daniel Lane right here. We are infusing technology and art to create some magnificent, wonderful, beautiful pieces. That's awesome work, man. Awesome, Appreciate thank it. you. Virtual reality and augmented reality are absolutely changing the game. Back here, they got different displays and setups with augmented reality systems and virtual reality systems, giving people an in-depth interactive experience. Some of them are fearful, some of them are fun, some of them are relaxing. Let's see what they got. See this lady here, she looks very relaxed. Um, and I see somebody else relaxing this year. Can you tell us a little bit about this technology and what this is doing? This is vibroacoustic. This lets you be able to drop in into a very deep meditative state. Okay. It's deep vibrations that uh, tune your body and clear you of all the trappings and emotions that you have and puts you into an alpha or theta state of consciousness. An alpha or theta state of consciousness? Could you describe an alpha or theta state of consciousness so for people that don't know what that state of consciousness is? Earth has uh, vibrations, okay. magnetic pulses. Okay. Tune to the same brain waves that we have. Alpha is a very alert um, focus and theta is a very deep meditative it's like when you're in a deep sleep. If someone has Alzheimer's and degenerative diseases, PTSD, yeah. we can be able to um, reset those as well. We tune the frequencies and we give you a, a prescription of what is needed. Okay. Sound medicine. Sound medicine. Yeah, that's hip-hop science doing sound medicine out here. It's crazy. With my new friend Alana, how you doing today? Wow. Awesome, awesome. She is with NASA, if you couldn't tell. I have like I have like literally five different NASA shirts and a NASA hat and NASA socks. NASA okay, NASA, I don't have NASA earrings. I might have to add that to uh, to my catalog. Can you tell us a little bit about how augmented reality is being used by NASA? So used by the scientists on the curiosity missions to uh, uncover new exciting uh, discoveries about geology. So since the scientists can actually physically be out there on another planet or a meteor or wherever these crafts are. This gives them the chance to use their whatever background it is to actually explore the physical planet and be able to utilize their tools in that space. Yeah, and they can explore Mars the same way they would on the Earth, which is how they were trained to do it. All right, this might be the ultimate test of bravery. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that was too much. I I gotta go watch something positive. That was, good Lord. Zach is responsible for this amazing event that we got going on today. Can you tell everybody a little bit about how this uh, event came to be and your involvement? A lot of the philosophies behind art and technology are very similar. And uh, both of them are let us explore our curiosity about the world and about ourselves. Yep. Uh, so this is our attempt at melding the two. Right now, the really emotionally captivating experiences are more immersive on the VR game. Probably one of the more popular things today here was this horror video game. Yeah, people were screaming. I, I was in literally terrified. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Yeah. So as much as we can definitely say that, like the future of interface might be augmented reality. Mm -hmm. Right now, the the VR entertainment is fantastic. All right. It's an official wrap here at the Art of Technology event. I learned so many dope things about augmented reality that I never knew were even possible. The ability to infuse art and technology together is absolutely amazing. Innovation is taking over in our everyday lives. You just have to have the open mind and the creative spirit to see it. I'm the Hip Hop MD. This is Hip Hop Science. Let's see where the next science adventure takes us.